Ricky Gervais had a recent interview where he talked about cancel culture a little bit more. This article is called, Ricky Gervais says cancel culture has made people lose their sense of irony. So, let's take a quick listen to what he said before we get into the article. Um, you say it's risk, it's kind of low risk show to low cost. Do you think it will be considered a low risk show now? Because you're playing, no. with, a, you're playing with a character with David Brent and there's lots of, of layers of irony with him. But that means yeah. he says some pretty leery things. Um, yes, of course. I mean, I think I think now it would suffer because people take take things literally. There's there's these outrage mobs who take things out of context and put on there. You know, this was a show about everything. It was about difference. Um, it, it was about you know um, sex, race, all the things that that people fear to even be discussed or talked about now. In case they say the wrong thing and they're cancelled, and and the BBC have got more and more careful. Where people just want to keep their job, so. People would worry about some of the subjects and some of the jokes, even though they were, you know, clearly ironic and we were laughing at this, this buffoon being uncomfortable around difference. I think if this was put out now, um, I think that, that, that some people have lost that sense of irony and context. And so I think it would be usually this is what happens, right? Um, it isn't a case of what's right or wrong. It's a case of how many letters do we have to write? I've talked people down off the ledge before. Throughout my career, I've said, listen, I'll write the letter. I've explained it to people. They go, no, no, it's okay because this. And they go, oh, okay. Sometimes they're just scared. And they're even more scared now because people don't take an explanation for an answer. They just say, well, I don't want to see it, so let's ban it. And do you and, feel, and, uh, are you beyond that now, though? No, I'm interested, are you beyond that now? Yes. So you, you yes, really I feel, do you, are you cancel proof? I'm not, I'm not cancel-proof, I just don't care. So, Ricky was basically saying something that I've felt for a little while, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have, is that people have kind of lost the sense of humor. People don't understand sarcasm anymore. You should really be able to joke about anything you want. Comedy needs to be an open book. And the PC culture has been really hurting comedy for a very long time now. Seinfeld has addressed this. So I think comedians will be the last people to ever bend the knee to cancel culture. What he was saying about having too much money to be canceled, well, that could be. But if you really get blacklisted and nobody wants to work with you because they think you are a racist, a sexist, a homophobe, or something like that, you might have a hard time moving on forward with your career. Now maybe he's right. Maybe he's got enough money to retire and not care forever. That could be in some cases, but Nobody wants to lose that foothold they have and the ability to get new jobs, new positions, new customers. His comments come amid a renewed focus on the cancel culture disclosure following an open letter signed by writers and academics published earlier this week. In the letter, signatories, including J.K. Rowling, Margaret Atwood, and Noam Chomsky, called for an end to cancel culture and advocated for free speech, and we're supposed to have free speech. It's not that people who use cancel culture want to get rid of free speech. What they're saying is that's not part of free speech. For example, when J.K. Rowling gave her opinion on what a transgender is, she got canceled. The outrage mob came for her. Or if you give your opinion on, say, Rose Tico in The Last Jedi, how I think she's terrible, I get called racist or sexist. That's canceling my opinion. It's not confronting it and saying, hey, no, she's a good character because of this. They don't care. And a lot of things they can't defend. And this letter, by the way, is going to do absolutely nothing because people who want to advocate cancel culture aren't up for debate. They just want to ban things they don't like. Addressing free speech, Gervais added to Times Radio that there are outrage mobs that take everything out of context and pressed that free speech was not the same as criticism free speech. Some people think freedom of speech means I should be able to say anything without consequences and it doesn't mean that he said. So here is the part where he says the thing about being cancel proof. And for some people, maybe they are cancel proof. I think they should still be nervous though. Because like Halle Berry had to turn down a role just because people were irritated that a biological straight woman could not play a transgender person. 
that's what acting is though but I digress my point is if actors don't have the ability to take any role they want for acting well I think it's a reason to get on board and help stop cancel culture so what's the way to stop cancel culture is not apologizing when you apologize you say I'm sorry I was wrong that's what they want and that narrative continues to grow and get more powerful if you simply put out a statement and don't apologize that's fine they can't really work with that so well they want to have like this gotcha moment like see you admitted you're a racist you admitted you're a sexist homophobe whatever it is at the time and then that's it you get canceled I've been watching some Daily Wire it's Ben Shapiro's YouTube channel and they're on this you know pretty heavily They've got some good opinions. They're over 2 million subs now, gaining about 10,000 every couple of days I've been watching. And this is their general theory, is if you apologize, it's only going to make it worse. So celebrities especially have to stop apologizing. If you make a joke, someone doesn't like it, you say, hey, it's a joke. That's it. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think down below. I think it's great that people like Ricky Gervais are talking out against this. We need more and more celebs to get on board. It looks like J.K. Rowling and a few others are starting to get the picture, so we'll see what happens. I guess there's some hope now for this situation because this culture can't take over the internet, corporations. It's just not right. It's just too dangerous for people to just say the wrong thing and lose their livelihood. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Consider subscribing. If you do, you'll get more videos. It'll be great. If you don't, well, I guess it'll be sad. But I'll get over it. See you next time.